Hey guys, my name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and welcome back to my channel. So I review food all over New York City and the US for a living. Every year I make a short list of places I think you should visit while you're here, or if you live here, you should put them on your to eat list. And here's a list for 2022. With that being said, I'm, I'm vegan and this is a vegan list. So whether you're interested in vegan food or you are vegan yourself, like this is the New York City list for you. I got my little notebook here, let's get this party started. New York City is famous for pizza and bagels, yes. So let's start with those. If you want a good selection of vegan pizza, you're gonna wanna go to Screamers. They have two locations, both of them are in Brooklyn. So if you're staying in Manhattan, it's a little bit out of the way for you. But if you're in Brooklyn, it's great. If you don't wanna leave Manhattan, New York City is a pretty vegan friendly place and there are lots of pizza shops with vegan options. But if you want a fully vegan pizza spot with a huge selection, that's really your only bet. As for bagels, there are two places that I trust to give me a good bagel every single time. Both have multiple locations. The first one is Tompkins Square Bagels. Not only do they have a ton of bagels to choose from, but they also have a ton of vegan cream cheeses to choose from. And this one is in like my first spot, but just barely below, still pretty high, is Brooklyn Bagel and Coffee Company. Their locations are a little bit more spread out, so you might be able to find one near you a little bit easier. They also have a lot of bagels to choose from, and not as much cream cheese options, but still quite a few cream cheese options as well. Now don't be scared if the cream cheese on your bagel is about an inch thick, that is normal over here. That covers the classic New York City stuff onto the other great food that we have. Easily the best vegan burger I've ever had is from Jarrell's Better Burger. It's a really small spot, you can't sit inside, but they pump out the best burgers. I swear, they are so freaking good. They also have really good waffle fries and chili if you like that. We have an amazing French pastry spot. It's called Les Petites Monstres. They have two locations now. They recently expanded into a second location. Both of them are in Brooklyn, but they have like the flakiest croissants, delicious muffins, cronuts, and they also sell plants inside. It's very, very cute. Getting a little bit fancier, a new spot opened this year. It's called Bels. It has a full-blown brewery, brewery and bar inside, and a lot of Italian-y vegan food, like they have pizzas and like grilled Caesar salad, stuff like that. It's a nice place to take a date. I'm a sucker for a good sandwich, so I'll give you a spot in Manhattan and one in Brooklyn. The best sandwich spot in Manhattan is in the Lower East Side. Not only do they do sandwiches and like little macaroni salads and stuff, but they also are a little grocery store as well, and it's called Orchard Grocer. They have a bunch of different sandwich options, but my favorite is probably the Miles, which is like a bacon, egg, and cheese on a croissant. Um, but they also have something called the Monte, which is like an Italian sub. It's really big, very filling, has like cold cut sandwiches, uh, lemon and vinegar salad, pepperoncini, stuff like that, delicious. They also do soft serve. They have a vanilla that's always available and then they swirl it with a different option for you and that option changes every few months. Um, there's like, sometimes it's peanut butter, sometimes it's blueberry, but it's always delicious. The top sandwich spot in Brooklyn, on the other hand, is Satan's Helper, and they make everything in-house from scratch. Very impressive, very delicious. The menu changes semi-frequently, so I don't know what they have in stock right now, but I've never been disappointed from one of their sandwiches. This one is Spicy Szechuan Cuisine. Spicy Moon is a fully vegan Szechuan restaurant. They have two locations in Manhattan. I like the one that's Spicy Moon West, but the menu is fairly similar across the two locations. I would recommend 100% the eggplant bun, and they have something that's like a dry pepper pot over rice, delicious. They're also just very friendly, the cocktails are really good, just a very good vibe in that spot. Speaking of cocktails, one of my favorite places with cocktails is Planta. This place is a little bit more expensive, like a place to get like a bougie brunch or something. But they do have specials, like I think it's half off sushi on Mondays or something like that. Check their website, they have all the specials listed on there. I have a very specific menu for Planta. Listen to me and listen close. If you go to Planta, these are the options you're going to want. Number one, bang bang broccoli. Number two, the torched and pressed. Number three, the Dan Dan Noodles, 100%. And my favorite cocktail they do is called the Leech Please. It's like a lychee martini, delicious. And it's so cute too. Now this place has been a favorite for a few years. 
um, Ja Ja Ja. It's a vegan Mexican spot. They have like a bunch of locations now. That being said, I don't usually get their tacos. Not a fan of their tacos, mostly because they gravitate towards jackfruit, and I'm just not a jackfruit fan, but the nachos to die for. Best nachos I've had in my life for like four or five years in a row. The quesadilla they do, also delicious, and the chorizo burrito. Also, great cocktails. There's a theme here. They also have good cocktails. Speaking of Mexican, we also have Pia. Pia is in Chelsea Market, and I have never had refreshing Mexican food before, but that is the best way to describe it. Everything is local and fresh, and you could really taste it in the food. The quesadilla, again, a refreshing quesadilla. It sounds like it doesn't work, but it really does. I really recommend you go there. Last, but definitely, definitely, definitely not least, we have vegan on the fly. If you grew up in New York City, then you probably grew up eating halal platters and gyros, and this is the only fully vegan halal spot we have in New York City. I would recommend the Impossible Platter, but if you don't like Impossible, they can do the platter with like seitan or falafel, and they can do the same options in like a gyro. They also have good mac and cheese with like buffalo bites on top. Just a great place to get a kind of authentic New York City food. I feel like I gave you a lot of options there. Sift through it and see what you like. And if you come to New York City and end up going to any of these places, hit me up on Instagram and let me know what you think of my recommendations. I take this curated list very seriously. Don't want this video to be too long. Hope it helps on your trip. And if you like this type of content, then please stick around. I shoot mostly in New York City, but I did build a teardrop trailer with my dad last year, and I occasionally take it across the US to review places all over. That's all I have for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, up on my Instagram right here. I also have a TikTok by the same name. And I will talk to you next time. Enjoy your trip to New York City. Goodbye! Or if you live here, enjoy my curated list. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Stacey, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Dawn, Susan, Trudy, and Clark. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!